Hi guys, it's Lynette here. So I've got this box and um, the kind of eagle eyed a month so you might be thinking Lynette never got glossy box this month. I didn't. However, I've got a, I've received an email from one of my subscribers, Sally, and she said to me, do you like fudge? She said, I love fudge. So she says, I'm going to send you some Orkney fudge. And I, I just thought it was really sweet and lovely of her. So I got this box this morning and um, I signed for it and I thought, oh, what's in here? And it's quite a heavy box. So I'm just going to go through it and show you. She's a bee monkey. She put more than um, Orkney fudge in the box. So I'll go through the Orkney fudge first, which I had to try a bit this morning, which is terrible, but it's gorgeous. So it's Orkney stem ginger fudge. Now I should say Sally lives up on the Isles. Um, yeah, and so she offered to send me some of this. And actually the date, it goes out, it dates the 3rd of August, 2023. Yeah, how old will I be in 2023? 45, my birthday. Um, she also sent me some regular vanilla fudge and they're handmade um, up in Orkney, which I thought was nice. And she sent me some chilli fudge. Can't wait to try that. My husband's working late tonight, so he might never know about this. <laughs> also some Orkney chocolate fudge, which um, I've never tried chocolate fudge. I'll open it now and let me know what it's like. I don't think I've ever tried chocolate fudge. Now, if you can't get a hold of um, Orkney fudge, Mrs Tilly's is amazing. That actually goes out of date the day before my birthday, which is my wedding anniversary, 2nd of August. How weird is that? Okay. That is gorgeous. Now, which has also sent me these um, biscuits called Perkins. So they're oaty biscuits. And um, they're from a company called, is it that, that? Anglo's Bakery? And they're from Orkney. And... Um, I am going to be trying these, the fourth generation bakery, and I'm going to be trying these um, with a cup of coffee. I feel so spoiled. And also, I mean, you can't come to Scotland and not try shortbread. And I have never tried Orkney shortbread, so I'm looking forward to that. Shortbread's gorgeous. It just melts in your mouth. Mm, that fudge is amazing. Sorry, I have to try it. It's gorgeous if you want to know. She also sent me some Eve Long. I've never tried this before. It's Radiant's Essence and it says Time Retreat. And um, it's quite an expensive brand as well. So Eve Long and um, this is it here. So it's 10 mils, but there's quite a lot in it. And what do I do with this? So it reveals skin's optimal radiance. Um, it's got retinol. It supports reduction of visible lines and wrinkles and provides immediate and long-lasting hydration. Pour several drops into the palms of your hand and gently pat into the face and neck. Use daily after cleansing. So um, I'm going to be giving this a bash. I'm currently using the Skin Chemist product. Somebody had asked me to kind of use it and let them know how I got on. So I can do that. The next item was one that I've actually been dying to try. So it's a patchology, but these are the illuminating um, eye gels. I love eye gels. So it says here, apply, take five and relax. Yeah, that sounds good. And um, you can keep them in the fridge as well, which makes them, it helps take puffiness out your eyes. And there's one of my favorite things. So it's incredible. It sparkle like a unicorn, illuminating sheet mask. And um, I love the brand Incredible as well. So this might be coming to you soon for um, a face mask Friday, which I haven't done in a wee while, just because of my skin. It says enriched with vitamin B3, B5, mulberry, green tea and lemon fruit extracts to lift dead skin cells, work to tighten and large pores and help improve the appearance of fine lines. So you wash your face as always with these things and you keep it on for 15 minutes. Massage any excess liquid into the skin. And what I usually do is attack my husband or my son with one of these. Not Brandon because he's just not into that at all. But um, Stephen doesn't mind when he's here. So this next one, I am so excited. I am so excited. She sent me a Starry Eyes self-warming eye mask. Now, I did get one in my birch box, but... 
it's one of these things that I really want to use it but I don't want to use it because I don't want to waste it I don't want to have it to have used it if that makes sense does that make any sense do you do that do you keep stuff that you really want to use because you don't want to use it up so I'm actually going to try this one um so it's by pop mask and it warms up in 30 seconds now if you have trouble sleeping I think this would be great So keep your eyes closed and don't press the mask against your eyes during the application. So if you apply eye drops, wait a few minutes before you use this mask, probably because it heats up. Do not use it at the same time as other eye masks and it may cause smudging or removal of makeup, that's okay. Um, so just, just be kind of careful that it, do not place in microwave or oven. Do not use a damaged eye mask. Eye mask may not turn warm if the pouch is scratched or torn. Okay, so I cannot wait to so keep it out of sunlight as well. And um, I can't wait to try this. In fact, I might try this tonight. And look, yeah, so I am I'm really chuffed to get that. And this next and last item, I, I love it. Look, so it's nails ink, but look at, look at it. Look at the palm leaves. It's super hydrating hand mask by, it says thirsty hands. Put the palm of... Put your palms in the air if you have tired, dried hands. Formulated with a blend of plant extract, shea butter and vitamin E, thirsty hands work instantly to smooth and reju rejuvenate hands back to their best. If you have clean hands, you put the gloves on, fasten around your wrist and relax. You can scroll on your phone whilst you wait, which is good. After 15-20 minutes, remove the gloves and gently pack, pack the excess essence. So I thought that was dead cute and I love the pattern on it as well. Um, yeah, I don't. I think I could put my eye mask on and my hand mask. Uh, who was it? One of, the, one of my friends that I watch here, Mrs Howie, she used the eye mask but she also put the lip mask on at the same time. I was just ending myself laughing at her. She's so funny. So I'm just going to go through and show you what I got sent again. Thank you so much, Sally. Sally doesn't have a channel, but if she did have a channel, you know I'd be sending you over. I got the Orkney um, Orkney Butter Shortbread. I got these um, Perkins, these oaty biscuits, which are amazing. I love oaty biscuits. And oats are really kind of oh, proper Scottish, isn't it? Um, Orkney Traditional Chili Fudge. I got some Orkney Vanilla Fudge. I will keep some for Stephen Brandon. But Stephen, honestly, son, it'll be gone by the time I come and see you. Orkney Stem Ginger Fudge. Orkney Chocolate Fudge. The Eve Lom, which I can't wait to try. It's supposed to be a really, really good brand. I've never had it before. And the Patchology Illuminating Eye Gels. The Starry Eye Self Warming Eye Mask. The Incredible Unicorn. You'll be seeing that soon. And the Thirsty Hands. So Sally, thank you so much. You've made my day. Um, I've kind of been a wee bit anxious recently. If some of you saw my community post, um, it's just been a wee bit down. Um, anxiety is a pig. <laughs> and I don't think it's something that we we should brush under the carpet but I, I try and be more honest when I'm feeling anxious and it, it it can be difficult and some people think well how can you do YouTube if you suffer from anxiety well you know I can and I do usually let things slide past because I realize there's bigger things to bigger things to worry about but sometimes when, you're, when your anxiety is bad things get you down so it's kind of been a it's been one of these weeks but this wee parcel arriving was just really cute as well. Um, you know, things like that make my day and make me realise that actually there's a lot of amazing people out there and um, I'm not going to stop doing my YouTube channel. I love it and I love contacting people and in fact when I'm anxious there's so many people that I can contact. Um, you know, there's people that I contact every day so I contact Marcy and Jill, I contact Lisa's subscription box, um, Museum Girl who's changed her channel to Beauty Novice Reviews, which I think is fantastic. At, um, at Lynn All Things Beauty, um, Jo Smith, contact her like five times a day. <laughs> and there's KD, there's Tracy, there's um, there's so many people that I contact as well. I'm just trying to think of all the names. There's Susan, I contact Susan as well. Um, there's Charmed Wench, I contact Marie. I don't want, now I've started, I don't want to forget anybody who I contact. 
Um, a contact. Oh, my name's going right out my head. I chat to her quite a lot as well. I'm going to go on my phone and I'm going to be like, oh, how did you forget her name? I I'd I've speak to Laura Bollum as well. Um, yeah, speak to KSW. Um, chat, I'm a very regular kind of wee chatterbox. Um, a new channel, 100% Lynn's chat. That might be your Instagram name. But I do the, the nail um, collaboration with her. So there's lots and lots and lots of people that I chat with and lots of people I'm trying to, if I could actually access my phone rather than filming, I could go through it because there's a gorgeous girl that I speak to and she's in Glasgow and I can't remember. Ashley, that's it. Ashley Snuggles. It's going to really annoy me if I forgot your name there, Ashley. Um, so yeah, if I've left your name out, it's brain fog and I wish I had my phone in front of me. But um, yeah, I'm contacting people kind of and it's good. I can honestly have honest conversations with them. Um, you know, they've had honest conversations with me. We can chat away, we can blather away. And um, sometimes it's light-hearted. Other times, like, Joe gets all my text messages. Joe gets to know that there's somebody on the bus eating. And I'm, I'm thinking terrible thoughts. <laughs> Bombard her with those. You know, there's somebody on this bus eating. Lisa gets a lot like that as well. So, uh, you know, Angela and... Um, Lynn, they, they get all those kind of messages as well. So I don't know what the point of me saying this is. Yeah, um, anxiety, if, you know, we're always talking about it, um, mental health and, you know, reach out or reach out to someone. But um, if you are a person who is kind of a bit like I've been the past couple of weeks, even though I've got loads of friends and family and what have you, sometimes I just feel quite lonely. Um, just... <laughs> Drop me a message on my Instagram page, which is the same as this, Spark with Princess Lynette. You know, send me a private message. If you're not um, subscribed to my channel, I think you can just open the, I think you can just add the Instagram page. Um, you know, send me a DM, Facebook me, um, whatever. And <laughs> do you know what? She would be raging if I forgot her. Because <laughs> I chat to her every day. Bryony. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bryony. I don't know why you'd be raging, actually. Um, I don't think Bryony would be raging, but I'd be raging with myself if I forgot to mention that I chat to Bryony all the time. Um, we've got the Facebook channel as well, um, which I kind of did admin with Bryony on that, which is the makeup revolution. See, I knew I was going to forget somebody, somebody important that I chat to all the time, and um, I would be pretty annoyed with myself if I did that. And now I'm waffling on, and it's... Um, 13 minutes and I'm sure you're still not watching so um yep thank you very much and I will speak to you soon bye guys